Okay, so I just found something that I have never seen on YouTube before. This is so weird. So what I'm going to be talking about is this channel called Ribs Roblox. And the last video that they posted was over one year ago. And it says toxic players in Roblox 11. Like it's just a normal little video, right? We're not going to be talking about their videos though. Their channel description says, hi, I'm Ribs and I make Roblox videos. Seems like somebody who enjoys doing what they do you know they got a cool profile picture they have a cool banner it's like a little character or whatever they've done live streams before they did a 600,000 subscriber special with all of these different people in their game look these are all the people who join the roblox games right but where this channel gets weird is when you go to their community tab oh my god bro oh hell no so if you scroll all the way down to their start of their community tab, they post a bunch of art. So these are this is art that people are making for them. Cool art. Cool art. This ribs person even made merch. They literally have merch. So they really enjoyed their YouTube channel. They cared about their fans, right? Remember that. About a year ago, they started doing polls on their community tab. How often do you play Roblox? Hardly ever, sometimes often. And then a year ago, they posted their last poll ever. It says Roblox avatar type that you like the most. Click one. There were no videos, no posts, no stories, no live streams from this ribs person for over a year. But then last month, something weird happened. This ribs person finally posted on their community tab again. And this is what they came back and this is what they posted. Hey guys, guess what? NYS, die, I hate you, I hate everyone, you deserve it. What? A year ago, they were posting, Oh, I love Roblox. Like, thank you for making me this art. And then a year later, they come back telling people to KYS and die? Telling their fans to KYS? This post was met with a ton of backlash. There's 5,000 comments on this post. A lot of people were saying like, Hey, is this actually you? Did this person get hacked? Uh, and yes, it is that person. Because they commented and they said, I didn't get hacked. Can you stop making stuff up? I hate it. Just be quiet. Somebody said, LOL. And they replied to him and said, What do you mean, LOL? It's not funny. OMG, shut up, shut up. It seems like this person hates their fans or maybe they're just going through something. A lot of people in the comments were saying, oh, I know how you feel. I feel the same. I'm trying to be happy though. I, like people go through these depressive episodes and stuff. It'll get better. Somebody said, if you're reading this, just know it gets better. Don't quit now. You're going to reach the highest point of your life. People were trying to support this person. This ribs person didn't post for a couple of days and people started to get worried. And then a couple of days later, they posted again. They said, I hope all YouTubers rot in hell. What? So now... This ribs person was telling people to die, and now they're saying, I hope all YouTubers will rot in hell. So is this person pissed off at other YouTubers? Once again, everybody's commenting saying, we're all here for you. It's okay. You don't deserve this pain. A lot of people are saying this ribs person became depressed, and now they're just hating on people in their community tab. They were trying to comment and support this ribs person, and a couple days later, they posted again. This time, they posted something super short. A very short message. It said, die, all of you. Now, this post has 9,000 comments on it. Once again, everybody's saying, like, we can do this. You know, we can do this. We can get through this. And now I'm sitting here thinking, why are we supporting this person? Like, I know they're going through something, but if they're telling their fans to die, why are you still supporting them? And this guy agreed with me. He commented and he said, a death threat is a death threat. The tough things that you've been going through are not an excuse to wish death on your own community. Wishing death on 600,000 people is not okay, but get well soon. That's exactly how I feel. Three weeks went by and ribs didn't post anymore. People were kind of worried. They weren't hearing from this person. People were starting to get worried. But then nine days ago, they posted again, and this time it was a long message. The ribs person said, ha ha ha, it's so stupid how people are making theory videos or assuming things about me. Like, I could give less of a sh about YouTube and all the Roblox players with a gross emoji. All the Roblox players in the comments are trying to be like hashtag D. I only speak for myself. Like, I swear everyone is so bad. The thing I noticed about this message is that ribs said, all the Roblox players and then put a grossed out emoji right next to it. If you go to your videos, every one of these videos is Roblox. You have millions and millions of views from Roblox. You played Roblox so much. You did live streams for Roblox and now you're hating on it? See me, I used to play Roblox on my channel, but I'm not gonna hate on Roblox. You know what I mean? If I just went from enjoying Roblox to saying it's so trash and everybody who plays it is stupid, that's so stupid. Now, I don't really understand what they're saying. like. 
I only speak for myself. Like, I swear everyone is so bad. I don't know what they're saying. And once again, people are in the comments just trying to support this ribs person saying, if you're going through stuff, we're here to support you. And thank you for making me. We, you have a whole fan base supporting you. I wish the best. And I don't agree with these people. You've said enough. You've tried to help them enough. This ribs person has been posting on their community tab for over a month straight now, hating on their fans because they're going through something. Let's say somebody in my family gets in a car crash and they get really, really hurt, right? It's like me coming on here and saying, I'm not watching any videos with a car or anything. If you make videos that have cars in them, you're so stupid and you should die. Just because you're going through something doesn't mean you have to project it on all of your fans, let alone project it on p other people. If you're going through something, keep it to yourself or talk to somebody that cares about you. You posting to 600,000 people on your community tab isn't going to help you. Now, I watched some of these videos from this ribs person and they sound like they're like maybe 13 or 14. So they're obviously young and I think it's a girl too. So they're obviously young and they're a girl and they're going through a depressive episode or something but I literally I don't care a lot of people go through hard things and a lot of people don't tell people to die a lot of people can go through hard times and don't say you know KYS you deserve it just because you're going through something doesn't mean you should deflect all the pain that you're feeling and try to put it on other people I have never seen a youtuber stop uploading videos stop posting anything and then come to their community tab and tell their fans to die this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on YouTube hopefully this ribs person can actually get help and learn how to you know talk to people without telling people to die now I never really do this in my videos I never really sit here and talk to the camera but I'm gonna say one thing that I want you to take away from this video if you're ever going through anything it's okay to talk with people about it but do not overdo it this ribs person is depressed so they decided to crap on 600,000 people they're obviously going through something and hopefully ribs learns that your channel is pretty much dead now